Anyway, how are you? Um, so, got loads of questions again. Some of them mental. Some of them from cats and dogs. <laughs> um, not going to get through them all, but I've just got the first ones. I actually, when I said, should we do a bollocks at six? After about 10 minutes, I have to delete it because I'm getting <laughs> millions. Of, uh, so, yeah. Um, <clears throat> someone was telling me you can't ask a question on here or interact. But if you're not on premium or something, I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. But I answer them on normal Twitter anyway. So they're already in. So you're not missing anything um, if you're not on premium. And if you are, then press someone and say hello. Um, tired, straight away. Before I, I tell, I, and I'll tell you why, right? It's not just the hot bath and the stingy eyes and that I'm old, right? It's the fact that I've got a frozen shoulder coming. Now, if you remember, about 10 years ago, this one was frozen, right? For about 18 months. You have like six months of agony. If you touch it, it feels like your arm's coming out of its socket and you've been electrocuted and you fall on the floor and cry in agony. I used to wake up screaming where I'd rolled on it, right? And this one's getting it now, 10 years later. You can only have one in each shoulder, apparently. I don't know why. So this one's safe. And when this is over, that's it. I can only just, I can sort of lift it to there. And it's got to the phase now where I'm not sleeping. It's been about a week where there's nowhere you can lay because your weight of your own shoulder, you can't lay on it. You can't even lay on the other side because the weight of the shoulder squeezes all the, all the badness. <laughs> I'm not a doctor. I've had some acupuncture, which is sort of temporary. Um... Oh, that's as far as I can go. I couldn't be a Nazi, could I? I can't, can't, <laughs> can't, can't get above there. Oh, so anyway, that's why I'm tired. I've been having, I've been having to schedule things around definitely having a nap at lunchtime because I, I know I wouldn't have slept well. Um, so yeah, that's my problem. I know there's bigger problems in the world. But um, we've all got our own. That's why when some fucking idiot on Twitter goes, oh, Ricky, why aren't you speaking out against the atrocities in the world? I want to go because I've got a fucking frozen shoulder. <laughs> all right? I don't. I ignore them. Right. Questions. Oh. Um, and I don't want to take painkillers. Because the ones that work, I think they're addictive and you end up, you know, going mental. Um, so I'm just going to just wait a year for it to get better. And Jane has to help me on now with a cardigan or a jacket. That's no good, is it? Fuck's sake. Like an old dog, I am. To be, I am like a dog, actually. I'm like a wizard turned a dog into a human. I sit on the floor all day. Because I, I can't sit on the couch and I've got my trainers on. And I can't be able to take my trainers off. <laughs> right. I go for a long walk. The other night, Jane was doing something. I had a rattle. I went, what are you eating? She went, I'm doing the recycling. <laughs> I was thinking, walk, snacks. I love a wee. You know that. I had about five wees last night because I, I wake myself up in agony and I think, oh, I might as well have a wee because I don't want to be... <laughs> Is this entertaining? <laughs> Fuck it now. Oh, right. Jenna, how are the warm-ups for the new show going? Great. It's my favourite thing. Um, uh, they're not even warm-ups yet, they're just like new material nights. And uh, I think I've done about 10 at Leicester Square and King's Place. And I'm doing a, doing a couple of matinees, that's a game changer. Uh, I've got a four o'clock one tomorrow. Um, and I just try, look, I just make little cards each time. Try new stuff. If it doesn't work, it doesn't get in. If it works a bit, you keep it. and. 
try it out. So uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I wish I could just do that for just warm ups. For the rest, never get to the gigs. Never get to the live tour. Uh, do you watch any stand up comedy shows? If so, do you have any favourites or suggestions? Well, I don't really go out to them. Uh, I don't go anywhere really. It's a bit. That's probably not a good place for me to be if I want to sort of be hide and left alone. Unless there's a box. <laughs> I have a box at a theatre, not because I want to be. I think I'm better than everyone else, but because I people don't see me, I can go in and no one knows I'm there. Um. I, uh, well, of the, the new ones, the new stand-ups I've seen, I'm sort of working with, Think I'd, I'd recommend people like Sean McLaughlin and Josh Pugh and Matt Bragg and Red Richardson. Um, and, uh, and I still sort of watch the old lot on YouTube or um, when they've got a new special out. Uh, you know, the obvious ones. Um, Louis C.K., Chris Rock, Dave Chappelle, uh, Patrice O'Neill is um, one of my favourites of all time. But he uh, he uh, he died pretty young, so he's only got a a couple of hours. I've gone through even things like him in, being interviewed on radio and stuff just to to get more of him. Um, uh, what new one? Oh, I I, I like um, Shane Gillis makes me laugh. Now, uh, um, I don't know if you. It's, it's so it's so subjective, but um, I like it. He does a, a just a great Trump impression, and he's just funny. He's just it's just funny. Um, yeah. So uh, my my um my uh, comedy watching is uh, usually on YouTube. Uh, Keena. No, that was Keena. Sorry, I should have said your name. Um, Lorraine. Two left feet or two left hands. Great. Straight to the... The <laughs> philosophy <laughs> questions. Um, so hold on. Two left... Two left feet. Would that mean you couldn't even... Walk properly? Would it affect... So you'd have... You'd have the big toe... Two big toes like that, wouldn't you? And you sort of balance that. Out. Would that be all right? I mean, two left hands would look weird, wouldn't it? But it wouldn't be terrible, would it? I suppose it would. You get used to that, though, wouldn't you? That's a tricky one, isn't it? Two left hands. Well, that's the two wrong hands as well, isn't it? I assume that I'd. I'd have a left hand, but I'd still be more dexterous with it because it was on my right side. Have I just got two shit hands? Why can't I have two right hands? <laughs> also, you mean that the left hand there is the left on there. I haven't just got two left arms coming out of the left hand side, have I? I've got two arms like I have, and, one, and they've got two left hands on them. I think I'd have to have the two left hands because I, I think I could learn to. Would that be what? What are two left hands? So you're gripping. So that's that, and it's there. You're gripping on the. Hand. Would that make a big difference? I think two left feet. You'd have trouble walking, wouldn't you? Oh, I don't know. Uh, two left feet, and I'd have trouble walking, but people wouldn't mention it. Would they? They wouldn't go, oh, you walk funny. That'd be it. But if you if you got two left hands, they'd go, fuck me. What the fuck? <laughs> they can resist. If you had two left hands and it came to it, they'd go, what the fuck's that? Whereas if I was just walking, hobbling around, they wouldn't, people wouldn't go, fuck me, you walk funny. Because that'd be rude. But I think two left hands would startle them. <laughs> also, they put their right hand out to shake it. What would I, what would I do? I'd put my right hand out, which I have a left hand on it, and it would be weird, and they go, this is fucking mind-blowing. Two left feet. Um, Daniel, any ideas for the name of your next tour? 
Well, I thought of... I, the one I thought of was Legend. Because I thought it would annoy people. <laughs> Which seems to be my favourite thing about everything at the moment. Like, I won the Golden Globe. I didn't think, oh, great. I'm so... Oh, that's so wonderful. That was, uh, enhanced my career. Well, how, how lovely to be... I just thought that would annoy people. <laughs> so, Legend, I thought would be a good idea. But then, as the thing's going on, I'm thinking of... Things are coming out of it, and I was thinking of mortality, morality, virtue. Uh, I mean, ultimately, it doesn't matter, does it? I remember when, uh, on my science tour, one, um, one reviewer said, there was very little science. If you've come here to learn something, you'll be disappointed. Yeah, you will. If you've come here to help your PhD, you're a fucking idiot anyway. Oh, I'm going along to this science lecture. It's a fat bloke swearing. That's, what? I thought it was Stephen Hawking. No. No, it is a fat bloke swearing. <laughs> Whatever it's called. <laughs> That's nothing that annoys me. People say, oh, anyone can get a laugh swearing. Go on then. Try it. Book Wembley. Sell out the tickets and then go out there and swear for an hour and a half. You'll soon find out, oh, maybe there's something more to this. <laughs> um, Jackie and Harry, if you could bring back one programme from your childhood, what would you choose? <gasps> First thing I thought of then was Robinson Crusoe, the Swiss version. It's sort of overdubbed. And he used to be on like 10 in the morning. And he was like, da, 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 da. Just waves. Da, 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 da. And I think there's no speech, actually. So just, it was easy to overdub. Because he's by himself. So who's he talking to? And it's like him talking to goes, I needed to make fire. Oh, oh, oh no. my knife broke. And he gets a spike goes, but it was a blessing in disguise because the spark. Yeah, it's all that shit. Robinson Crusoe, what else do I like? Six million dollar man. Loved him. Steve Austin. A man barely alive. We can rebuild him. We can make him better than he was before. Better, stronger, faster. Dun, 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 dun. Waltons. Love that. Happy days. Just a few. You youngsters are going, what the fuck are you talking about? Old programmes. Um, Lorraine. Is that another Lorraine? We've already had Lorraine. That's another one. Um, I'm in plaster, having broken my right wrist last week, and I'm useless trying to do everything with my left hand. See? We've already covered some of this, haven't we? <laughs> Um, have you ever broken a bone? And if so, how did you manage? I think I've broken a little toe when I was doing karate once. I broke it twice. Because I broke it and I didn't have it seen to. Because I thought, what are they going to do with a fucking toe? Put a bit of plaster around a little broken toe. It was sort of like that. So I just left it and I hobbled around for weeks. And then just when it was healing... Um, me and Jane, when I was, uh, I was on the dole, we used to deliver a local paper for like 16 quid a week. And we used to go put them out in a shopping trolley. And we were doing it, and once the shopping trolley went over it and broke it again. So that's the worst thing that's happened to me. A broken little, little toe. I had little, but I think I might, have, I might have had a little broken little finger as well. Again, I think from karate. But I didn't do anything to it. I just can't bend it for as far... I just, I don't do anything really. I just let it, whatever, whatever happens, it fucking happens. And I'm just carrying all these, carrying all these little, little tiny injuries. You know what I mean? It's better than like, queuing up for five hours in the hospital. <laughs> it just get better. It'll either drop off or get better. That's, I'm not a doctor. I should say that. Just in case. <laughs> You think that's good? 
I know there's a lot of podcasts that put out people saying there's a lot of misinformation. I don't recommend, if something happens to you, that you just go, well, it'll either drop off or get better. I should say that to cover myself legally. Um, yeah, I haven't broken anything, really. Uh, that is it. No, no big broken bones or fractured skulls or I had my teeth knocked out. Surprisingly. <laughs> um, Paige. Can you pick one special standout night of your Armageddon tour that was the best and why? Thanks for caring and donating to animal charities. Um, again, the first one that springs to mind. I loved them all. They're all of my... I loved every one of them. Seeing, you know, in some of the nicest theatres in some of the most beautiful cities in the world. They're all great. But the one that stands out that I think I'm allowed to say without pissing off the others, because it was pretty amazing, um, and it broke the world record, is uh, Hollywood Bowl. It still seems surreal that I played that. The same place the Beatles played and sold it out and broke the record. And it was the only one I was nervous about as well. I was nervous beforehand. I don't know why. I, I was just thinking, is, the, is this going to work? It's out in the, out in the open air. And it was great. Um, yeah, I loved it. I wanted to go straight back out and you can't enjoy it at the time. Do you know what I mean? You think you're, you're, you're in two minds all the time. You're doing that. I've got this coming next. So they're going to get that. I've got this coming next. I've got that. But if you got, if I went straight out and did it again, I'd just go for it. Um, that's all. That's only in my head. No one else is going. Why is he thinking two things at once? <laughs> that's the good thing about thoughts in your head. No one else can see them. So uh, even if you think, oh my god, I'm, I seem mental, you probably don't, unless you are mental, and then you do. If you are mental, you seem it. See, mental people think, oh, no one knows I'm mental. And we're going, yeah. Whereas I'm presumably not mental because I'm thinking, oh, I thought I sound mental. Again, this is not medical advice. <laughs> I, can't, I can't stress that enough. <laughs> oh, God. Tony. Is your Golden Globe home yet? No. And if so, can you show us? It isn't, no. I don't know where it is. I must have given it to someone in LA to get it here. Then I have to ship it to me. Um, I've got an old one here. God, that's heavy. Oh, see, that's that, that one, right? Um, I think I've changed a bit now. That is heavy. I uh, well, I, I won this. What was this one? This the. Uh, I've got I've got four now, one for Armageddon, one for extras playing Andy Milman, and two for The Office, one for the program and one for David Brent. And when I won the two, I think it was two thousand and three or something. I had to get them home myself on the plane, so I put them in my um, suitcase and I sort of wrapped them in underwear, and of course, they came on the screen, they said, what's that? And what does that look like on x-ray, wrapped in underwear? Yes. Liberace's dildo, right? And they just got it out, and I said, that's a gone girl, they went, oh, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't put it down with that hand, fucking hell. Oh, right. Um, uh, Leopold and Love Day. What are the chances of bringing new material night with friends to a small venue in uh, New York City? It's tricky because unless I'm there already for something else, th they don't make any money. If I do a real gig, it pays for everything 10 times over, you know, a private jet if I wanted. But when, when it's like a tiny thing, and you know I'm sharing the money with the other guys, 
there's not enough cash generated to go somewhere like New York specifically. Um, but if I if I if I'm there, I'll do one. Or, or you know, or it might just be the real thing. But um, I will go further afield than the closest venue to my house this time. I might do a few outside London. I mean, I could even. I mean, I could even do one in Europe, I guess, a, a, you know, a smaller venue. But um, it's just not, it's just a bit mad to fly across the Atlantic to play to 400 people, um, really. Oh, I, could do a, I could do a new material night and charge everyone $1,000 each. <laughs> um... James Willoughby and Oliver. Would you rather... Here we go. Would you rather lick a homeless man's toe or chew a piece of gum you found stuck underneath a table? Oh, fucking hell. Right, I don't know where that gum's been or what is on it, do I? The, the fact of chewing it, that is... I mean, that's out of the question, but licking up... I mean, and there's also a person involved, isn't there? I'm, I'm licking someone, they're there. And the homeless person going, oh look, it's a bloke from the office licking my toe. <laughs> he's, got, he's got one hell of a story, hasn't he? At his outdoor dinner parties. I, oh God. I mean, I think it's, I think the, the safe, the most hygienic is probably licking his toe, isn't it? I'm not going to cat, I'm probably not going to, depends, depends, won't it? I'd have to look at the toe first. I'd look at the toe. Could have anything, couldn't he? Oh, but then the, oh, it's not great. That's not a great choice, is it? Can I wash his toe first? Can I put some disinfectant on it? <laughs> he hasn't even signed up for this. What's, what's in it for him as well? Have, have I got his consent? He's going to go on going, I was just asleep in a doorway. I woke up. That's his fat fucker licking my toe. That's got to be the toe, I think, after inspection. <sighs> Bella, if Jane were to have you stuffed after your death, that's important, that. Bella's put that in. It's a very, very important point. <laughs> if Jane were to have you stuffed after your death, where would you be? Here are some options if you need them. A, swearing at a noisy pedestrian from your front window like that. It's all, yeah, that's good. In the bath. Yeah, that, yeah. Like some sort of weird exhibit. I like the swear, I, I like the being in the window. I quite like that one. On wheels, so Jane can still take you for walks to meet dogs. Well, again, I'm dead, so there's nothing for me. So the funniest out of those is is a dead stuffed man showering. <laughs> that is art. I mean, mental medieval art. But I think that one, Bella. Right, last question. Joette, you wake up in a cave naked. Always. You have to choose only one citrus fruit to be the only citrus fruit left in the world to eat. What citrus fruit do you choose for mankind? What's me waking up naked got to do with it? <laughs> That's just nothing to do with it at all. Imagine if that all problems were solved like that. The United Nations. Right, everyone get their clothes off. We've got to solve some shit here. I wake up in a cave naked. And the first thing I've got to do is decide the one citrus fruit. Well, I just got to choose the one I like. I mean, I don't know 
What are there? It's all the different oranges. Lemon, lime. No, lime doesn't get a look in. Lemon, not compared to the orange. It's got to be an orange, and it? it's got to be some sort of orange. And for me, it's one that's easy to peel. It's the tangerine. What's the one that just falls off? Is that a tangerine or the satsuma? Is the satsuma the... There's one that's little, but it's just as fiddly as a big one. And there's one that you, it's sort of like... The skin isn't even touching the middle bit. It just fall, It just comes off. That one. Someone said grapefruit. No, fuck grapefruit. <laughs> this is not... I'm naked in a cave here, choosing it. Someone's saying the satsuma. Is that the satsuma? Is that the easy one? Yeah, the satsuma. Simple as that. Um, that's it, really. What can I say? Uh, oh, yeah. Happy Valentine's Day. Get... Buy them this. Dutch Barn. Vodka. I've got to say, I'm the owner of the company. Otherwise, this is a paid ad, and I should say, paid ad. It's not a paid ad. I'm not getting paid. I own the company. There you go. There's lots of rules to advertise now, Carl. Buy Dutch Barn. Um, and also, I invested in this as well. The can of water. Now, the point of it comes in black and white. The white one is still. The black one is sparkling. Now... The point of this, and people say, oh, what's the point of that? Well, because of plastic. Plastic bottles, they go into the ocean, they're killing turtles and everything. They can't recycle them. They, they last for about 50,000 years or something stupid. Also, you get all those nano plastics that's clogging us up. We're going to die. This is lovely. 100% recyclable, aluminium, and you don't get bits of plastic in your fucking cells. Again, I'm not a scientist. <laughs> That's the end of all. I'm not a, I'm not a doctor. Um, good. Uh, thank you. Thanks for following. Be nice to animals. Retweet some stuff. I'm tired. My fucking frozen shoulder. That's as far as I can get it. Oh. Tatty bye, everyone. Tatty bye.